Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a new solution that you can use King Kong Server Mini or Server 16 or K868 Server Raspberry Pi controller work with Tuya mobile phone application directly because we have designed King Kong Tuya MQTT component for HACS using Home Assistant so that you will be very easy to use Raspberry Pi controller uh, work with Tuya mobile phone directly and also you can use Home Assistant at the same time so that you can use in local network or use by remote country by internet at the same time in this video I will show you step by step how to set up for this okay let's look at my computer you can see this is my Home Assistant dashboard uh, in this video I will take example for King Kong Server 16 actually you can use King Kong Server Mini or King Kong KC86 uh, server uh, or the controller uh, all work with this two-year add-on so you can see this have uh, 16 channel output you can see I can turn on turn off and this is binary sensor for 16 channel that have managed by Raspberry Pi but you can see this can used by home assistant okay now I will use my two-year mobile phone application to remote control by internet uh, you can see this is my mobile phone and this time you can see I disabled the Wi-Fi so I can use this uh, 3G and open this Tuya mobile phone application and uh, you can use the Tuya Smart or Smart Life because I'm in China so this test I will use this Chinese version application okay you can see this first is King Kong Server 16 uh, you can see I can enter and this have 16 channel button you can see I can turn on really one uh, this really one uh, this red LED is on and you can see turn on relay 2 this relay 2 is on and also I can turn all on you can see uh, this is all on and all off so this time you can use this remote country by internet you can see the 5G and also I can click this one this input you can remote monitor your binary sensor input state uh, let's test it this one and this one And you can see uh, this turn green if I remove this will be recover so this you can see uh, this is channel 1 and also I can use this one you can see uh, this is channel 2 the channel 2 is uh, monitor the state so this time you can see I can remote country by this 16 channel relay output and monitor the state for the 16 channel input by this 2 mobile phone by internet okay let's look at how to set up for this server 16 but also you can use this uh, server mini uh, just this is the 8 channel relay output and 8 channel digital input and the server 16 that is 16 channel digital input and 16 channel relay output okay uh, all can use for our King Kong add-on okay let's look at my computer and I will show you step by step uh, you can see in our form uh, I have posted this how to use King Kong Server 16 and Server Mini by Tuya application this have all steps uh, very clearly and also you can do as uh, these steps but in this video I will show you will be easy to understand and you can see this github uh, we can open this link uh, just this one uh, this one we have designed the King Kong Tuya MQTT component and this example uh, how to configure by YAML file you can see uh, it's very easy just uh, for one switch and for one binary sensor and if you have 16 channel or 8 channel just uh, copy paste and copy paste later I will show you how to step by step and the first uh, you need to install HACS for our component uh, just uh, uh, this way because I have already installed so I will delete it and I will tell you how to integrate uh, this we have already installed so you can see already installed and uh, now I, I will delete it just customer and uh, this one I delete it so delete so now I will as soon as your compute so at the first you can see I need to add this customer component uh, you can see I need to copy this link just the github link copy link and HACS and integration and this three dot 
and customer and paste it here paste it here and the kit uh, integration and press add okay you can see this add I can close it and now you will see uh, this new this new component displayed click enter and you need to click this download uh, this download file to your Raspberry Pi SD card I click download that means we'll default uh, save this file and the components to this path of your Raspberry Pi or maybe your server and I can click download okay after download we can back to this page you can see pending restart so you need to restart your home assistant uh, you can see I can click setting and click system and click this button and restart home assistant restart uh, so you can see we have already do the step at here restart <laughs> so that will be very easy and the last we just need to edit the configuration.yaml file you can see uh, this have the four uh, yaml file we have created uh, for server 16 you can copy and paste directly to use just need to change some uh, some command okay you can see the whole assistant restart and we can click this file edit to edit config configuration.yaml file you can see uh, we need to change this file you can see I have already pasted it here just from this to the end that I have created 16 channel switch and a 16 channel binary sensor uh, just paste this file paste this file and you need to buy two year lessons uh, from our King Kone. So you can see because that will use Toya Cloud Server resource, so we need to pay money to Toya company. You just order from King Kone, so King Kone will sell the Toya lessons to you. And also you can see at this link, uh, this is how to buy Toya lessons. It's also very easy. You can see just make sure what's your Toya account range just this range this is very important because Toya have many different color server you can see different color server on the world so uh, if you have a mistake uh, send us your range uh, you will continue the Toya lessons so you need to make sure what range you are using and you need to tell us uh, what's your uh, product model you have used so you can see uh, just for example uh, which board you are using and which server location you are using uh, just confirm by yourself and then you can send an email uh, to us uh, this is the old link you can see this our online store old link so this is Toya lessons just 5 USD and no time limit every year you can use just only 5 USD for one time so this is a chip and that can use a remote country by internet function okay let's back to our computer and because you need to change these three commands uh, you can see it here the device ID and the device secret and uh, this band ID what this means and after you send the email to us we will send two year lessons to you for example uh, this we have sent a server 16 uh, this two year lessons information to you so you just replace you can see at my YAML file you will see a device ID a device secret so you can see uh, this all have showed at the two year lessons information just this two device ID you can see uh, this device ID just copy this uh, replace so, sorry device ID is this one uh, just copy this and paste it here and the device secret uh, just this one you can see just paste it here the range because my account in China so I have using the CN so if you use other range server location so you, you can see at here maybe you are using EU US uh, EUS or WEU so you can see have different 
server location, you just use this. Uh, for example, you are you are in center UI repo data center, so you just replace EEU. So you can see, uh, just if you in a center UI repo, you just replace this CN with EU. Okay, this is very easy. And this you can see, you can just copy and paste this uh, switch one and this is switch two. But this one, blind ID, uh, this one, you need to find in Home Assistant uh, which your blind ID is, the entity ID. So you can see, I can click this development tool and the state. I can input output. My output one, you can see the ID is this one. Uh, this output one is the entity ID in Home Assistant. So you need to find it here. Maybe you ask, uh, you can see my switch is output one, but don't copy this output one to uh, this bind ID you should find this output one in Home Assistant development tool and the state and search this output one. You can see the output one is this entity ID. So you need to copy and paste uh, this entity ID and to configuration.yaml file and uh, replace it here. So this is for output one. So as this way you can paste output 2 and until output 6 and also you can see I have created 6 channel digital input for binary sensor you can see 16 channel and also you need to find the binary sensor name and the entity ID you can see this is a bind ID why is binary sensor dot button 1 so also you need to copy this one and you can see my binary first channel binary is button one, but don't copy button one. You need to find in development tool and search at here. And you will see the button one, the entity ID is this one. So you need to copy this one and replace in file edit configuration. You can see that have a binary sensor button one. So you need to copy and paste and search every channel, 16 channel in development tools and paste it here. So at last, you need to just uh, save this file and restart the Home Assistant. Then you can use uh, Tuya Cloud Server and you will see after you change it, uh, you can use the Tuya mobile phone application to scan QR code. And this QR code, we also will send it to you uh, with this two lessons together. For example, uh, you can use this, this one because this two file we will send to you. So this first txt file is used for configuration.yaml file. And this QR code just let your Tuya or your Smart Life application to scan this QR code to add a device. After you add a device, and you can see that you can use Tuya uh, mobile phone application with your server 16. You can see I can turn on this turn on relay one and relay two at here. You can see turn on this two two channel relay. You will see this and this is monitor the digital input. Uh, at the first I have this demo for you. I just uh, uh, use this one to check out the input. And also you can use the home assistant at the same time. So I can use this to your mobile phone and I can use the home assistant application at the same time. So this is how to use server 16 and the server mini Raspberry Pi controller work with Tuya and the home assistant at the same time. Okay, thanks for watching.